Kill Squad is a beautiful twin stick shooter bullet hell action pack game that can be played with up to four players and was, re was released on July 16th, 2019 by developer and publisher Novarama. The premise of the game is essentially you play as the hardcore badass that is sent on a suicide mission as part of the kill squads to clear the way for your corporate leaders. At this point I've put in about seven or eight hours of gameplay with two of the five hero classes and will now give my initial impressions of the game with a few pros and cons of the various categories that I took notes on, being menu and inventory design, heroes and fighting mechanics, the maps, and solo player versus multiplayer. Personally, I like a, min a minimalistic menu where the information you want to get to is just one or two clicks away. Any more than that and I start getting antsy and God forbid you have animations between menu screens. Kill Squad does a great job of keeping everything nice and precise, but there are two things that I would suggest. Having a fixed information screen instead of following the cursor movement on mission selection, and change the dismantle feature to do more than just one item at a time. There are five heroes to choose from. You've got your standard ranged DPS, melee tank, melee DPS, ranged healer, and ranged support. I played as the apostate, Cass, first, and had a blast slicing and dicing my way through the enemies. I had my moments of humility where I died quite a bit and had to rethink my approaches. Then I tried the ranged healer for some variety, and oh my god, the early game is criminally boring, but I can see him being necessary for the in-game content. Each hero has a unique playstyle and approach to combat, and given the limits of a bullet hell game, I think that they cast their abilities net wide and, no and nothing felt useless, even the consumables. Each mission starts your character at level 1, and as you progress to the boss fighting minions, you level up unlocking perks that you, perks that you preset beforehand. Unfortunately, although the fighting is beautiful and fluid, now we get to the bigger issues I have with the game. There are dozens of contracts to play through, but you will only have four or five biomes to cycle through, including the Colosseum to farm the late game upgrades. On top of that, there are only four contract types, and they are upfront about this. Elimination, where you kill three mini-bosses at the end of the map. Protection, absolutely the worst of the four in my opinion, where you just stand near a truck and walk it to the finish line, and anything that attacks it pauses it in its tracks. Defense is the third type of contract, and it's just barely better, but you still have to keep any life form inside or outside of the dome, depending on the mission type. And finally, there's Overthrow, which is literally just the harder in, uh, version of Elimination. Up to four players can join at a time, however, I didn't get to experience this in my playthrough being three years later. For curiosity, uh, after release, for curiosity's sake, I checked the play charts, and there were only about 25 players on average concurrently. And I'm sure that the late game content would be a blast with full squads, but... And with how late I am getting to the party, near impossible for me to try and get a multiplayer game going. So at the end of the day, though, I'm glad I picked up Kill Squad while it was on sale. And I had fun for you know the time that I put in. But this is not meant to be played solo. So my overall impression was hampered by the fact that I couldn't get into a multiplayer game. With beautiful graphics and fluid combat, Kill Squad is anchored down by its minimal amounts of maps and even less contract types. I can take my notes about this game's pros and cons and make adjustments to my future games accordingly based on what I did or did not like. If there's anyone who still plays this game though, hit me up. Otherwise, it's a f it's been a fun run and gun one and done time for me. Thank you.